Hi, second grade. This week we're going to be adding color to our 2D and 3D houses. I'm using oil pastels, but if you don't have oil pastels, you can use crayons. I am adding color to only some of my houses, but not all. What I did was this. I would pick one color, and then I would try and color about six or seven things with that one color not all in one place. I would try and spread that color out a little bit. And here's why. When a person looks at your artwork, their eye usually travels from color to color. If you put all of your color in one spot, then when someone looks at your masterpiece, they'll only look at one spot. So spread the color throughout, thinking about your composition or placement of things. It'll make it so people look at all parts of your drawing. I colored at least eight to 10 things before switching to a new color. Once you have a good amount of your houses filled in, but not everything, you can start to add watercolor paint. So right now you are using oil pastel, which is made from oil, or you're using crayon, which is made from wax. Oil and wax do not mix together with water. If you were to pour oil into a glass of water, the oil would refuse to mix and will settle on the top of the water. So when we add watercolor paint, which is mostly water, on top of oil pastel or wax crayon, magic happens. The oil or wax push away the watercolor paint. You can paint right on top of oil pastel and it will not get covered by the paint. Notice the colors that I'm choosing to paint my background with, purple and blue. These are cool colors. You may choose to color your background using the three cool colors or the three warm colors. Here's a little video to explain what warm and cool colors are. I'm Deja. And I'm Jacob. And, and this, this is ArtQuest. ArtQuest! Did you know colors have a temperature? Like hot and cold? Yes. For instance, my favorite color is blue. What kind of things does the color blue remind you of? Blue reminds me of the ocean, nighttime, and polar bears. Mm -hmm. Polar bears? <laughs> well, the ice where the polar bears live it's pretty cool there. That's exactly right! <sighs> Blues, greens, and purples are called cool colors because they remind us of things that are cool, like a lake, a night sky, or a field of grass. Are there warm colors too? There sure are. Warm colors includes reds, oranges, and yellows. You know, things that make us feel warm. Like fire, the sun, and spicy peppers. Exactly! What colors are around you? Do they make you feel cool or warm? Take a closer look, because really, art, art is, is all around art. you. For more activities, visit us online at friskids.org. This art quest is made possible by the generous support of the Frist Foundation. After you finish painting, let your artwork dry, take a picture, and upload a photo to this assignment. 